What's up, Zwifters? Today, I've got a new feature to talk about, and that is the Zwift Coffee Stop. This is a highly anticipated feature, and it solves a lot of issues in a pretty cool feature. All right, so let's dive into the details and how this works and everything cool like that. Let's dive into the video. So before we get too far into this video, I'd like to ask you all to please hit that like subscribe button. It really helps support the channel. And if you do want to, please shop through the affiliate links in the description. That also helps me grow as a content creator and it helps fund my passion, which is creating content for all of you guys. All right, so how the coffee stop works. Um, the coffee stop is a feature that is available through the companion app or the action bar and it basically allows you to stick with a group that you are riding with group or rider that you are riding with so that um, you can just go get some coffee or um, open the door for someone um, whether that's turning on the fan picking up a towel that fell on the ground or anything like that this allows you to take care of that and it gives you a 30 second or three minute time frame depending on where you are at in your ride and I'll discuss that more later on in the rules um, so yeah, as I said earlier, it can be activated through either the companion app or the action bar and you'll be allowed to exit that 30 second window or 3 minute window whenever you want by just clicking a button on your screen. So when exactly could I see this being useful? I can see this being useful in Fondo rides, Pace Partner rides, or just endurance rides in general where like you're with Coco and you don't want to leave their group because if you do, you don't have any draft and it's going to be a rough rest of your ride. So um, it's going to be good to just use that coffee stop and then you'll be allowed to go do whatever you need to do real quick, go to the bathroom, go refill your water bottle so that you can finish that dur remaining duration of your ride still with the group that you were with originally. So that's where I see it being the most useful and I um, I have some experience personally using this feature and um, some of the times that I've seen it being useful are when I forget to turn on my fan, I um, forget my water bottle, I gotta fill the water bottle up, I have to plug in my computer if it's dying or anything like that is where I have been using it recently. So I can definitely see that being this being a very useful feature in the future and one of Zwift's most useful features and versatile features that they have released in a while and I am really liking it. So some rules in the coffee stop. In the first five minutes of the ride of your ride, it is a 30 second coffee stop. It's not going to be a three minute coffee stop because that would just be crazy if in the first five minutes you could just cruise for three minutes. It does not make any sense. But you can take a 30 second coffee stop and that can be used to you know do the small things like turn on your fan, plug in your um, device or turn on the TV, something small like that. And then for the um, for every 30 minutes during the rest of your ride, you are allowed one three minute coffee stop. So that will allow you to do the more, um, the longer things and the things that you've been waiting to do uh, in the past 30 minutes. So then the three minute one is going to be the most useful and the longest one. And that will be pretty nice if you want to do things such as check on the kids, walk, take the dog out real quick or do something nice like that. So that'll be great for endurance rides or just rides where you're time constrained and you're, you have a lot of things that you're trying to do at the same time, such as watch the kids and still um, do your Zwift ride. All right, so you cannot also you also cannot be riding in the middle of nowhere with nobody with you. You have to have Zwifters near you, probably within five to ten seconds. I'm not sure what the exact specification of that is, but just a rider near you going the same direction as you so that you can kind of latch onto and use their speed to kind of just like you'll just be stuck with them and going at their same speed for the entire time. All right. So in workouts, you cannot use a coffee stop and in races. So that makes sense because you don't want someone to be racing and then all of a sudden they just drop a coffee stop and they don't even have to race. That would be really messed up. And I don't know whether this is going to be enabled during the tour of Watopia, tour to Zwift and big events like that because I know there are a lot of riders who race that, but I'm suspecting that it will be enabled because it is technically not a race and riders technically should not be racing it, but a lot of riders choose to race it because it is a go at your own pace event. 
Also, in the final five kilometers or last 15 minutes of distance or time-based events, this is like group rides. If you're going on a 60 minute group ride, you cannot do it from 45 minutes and beyond because then you just be cruising for the final bit of your ride, which is not really a good thing to be doing. And you can always just get the coffee 15 minutes later or to do the thing you need to do 15 minutes later. So something I've seen asked a lot is what you actually what you get and what you don't get in the coffee stop. So during your coffee stop, you will still accumulate distance and you will still accumulate time but you, and XP because with um, distance comes XP. So you can get all those small perks, but you will not get um, drops because for drops, it's all based off of your relative power output and how that compares to um, your max and how hard you're pushing so that Zwift knows how hard you're pushing and how many drops to give you. But when your power outage is at zero, um, power output, sorry, um, not power outage, power output is at zero, Zwift knows that you are not moving, so therefore you will not be gaining drops. So how exactly do you know if someone around you is using a coffee stop? You'll know based off of the icon that is above their head, and that's going to be a brown circle, much like the arrow boost, but just imagine that, but a dark shade of brown with a little coffee symbol, and that's how you know that they are using their coffee stop. So what are my thoughts personally on this feature? I think that this is one of the most powerful features that Zwift has released. In the form of the coffee stop feature, you can use it to get coffee, you can use it to fill up your water bottle, you can use it to go to the bathroom, you can use it to open the door, you can use it for so many different things. And this is something that I really wanted, but it's never really been like, oh, I need this, but it's just kind of something small that like, oh, I'm gonna have to drop out of the group in order to do X, Y, and Z. But now I don't have to do that. I can still stay with the group and I can finish my ride, come back to my ride still with the group. And that's just a really nice thing to have, especially for those longer endurance rides. So overall, I think this is a great addition to Zwift and I can see it being very useful in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and see you all next time. Ride on.